I need to leave. They're talking about it, and I can't stand being here. How dare they talk about the ending of the Blue Book in front of me? I haven't finished it yet! My name is Isabella Parker. I'm an upper who attends Phillips Academy, and I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> no, just kidding. Well, 80% kidding. I'm one of those kids who if you look very closely at a picture in the yearbook, you might see my back. It's not that I have anything against socializing, it's just that I have everything against people. But why am I telling you this? Well, that's because on January 9th, 2018, something big happened. Something to change everything, irrevocably. I actually got that word from the SAT, irrevocably. It's 75. Class starts in five minutes. I'll go off. Bye, Isabella. First, I have math. And then I have another class, and this other class that I rarely show up to. And then I have lunch. Oh, well played, person. Well played. I knew that I was going to die. This was it. I would die choking on dent. Everything went dark, but then suddenly I was sitting in the stacks like nothing had happened. Except in my book was a note. Who <coughs> left this in my book? Did you do this? Was it you? Weirdo. You're in my ornithology class, Brian! The note was odd, but there was a possible chance that it connected to my choke scare. I couldn't just ignore it. Music with an instrument and in another... Gross. Definitely graves. Well, that was easy. So, I didn't find anything special in Graves, but Perry the Platypus knew my name. Either this was some sort of spiritual experience from some higher being trying to teach me a life lesson, or this was a very elaborate prank that I would happily report in hopes that someone would end up staying warm in a DC meeting. Where some stomp and shout. Hmm. And during the winter? Right, that step group that I was brutally rejected from. What was it? Jam, bam, slam! That's it. To the gym. Oh, why is this campus so fucking big? This is actually so stupid. But I was almost there. I had this feeling that the last clue would lead me to spiritual enlightenment. The Widow's Peak. Of course! Galb! This was it. This was the moment that changed everything. So there I was, covered in blood, sweat, and tears, 
holding a platypus and a right flip-flop, staring at the biology information board. And as I stood there, looking at the diagrams in front of me, the answer finally came to me. This was a fucking waste of time. Sweet mother of fuck. I have like three major assignments tomorrow. Shit. Maybe I can get an extension.